everybody and welcome to my new Let's Play Shiny Gold X. Yes, awesome. Let's do it. Um, as you can see, this was made by Zell. Uh, considered one of the best hacks ever made, and I will be using Super Speed to get through some of it because you've seen a lot of this. It's nothing you haven't seen before, so none you should not it. But uh, what is my name again? I am JP. That is right. Are you ready? Yes. And quick note, you're not naming Gary as your rival, or this guy. You are naming the red-haired rival from Gold and Silver and Crystal. So I'm going to name him Zell, after the creator, whose real name is Carlos, by the way. So got to give a big shout-out to him, because next to Pokemon Brown, this is the greatest hack ever made. So what you want to first do is come over here to your PC. You want to take this potion out. You're going to need it. You know you're how you get a rival, and the fight's real easy. It's just like tackle, tackle, tackle. That's not how shiny gold works. So we're going to skip past this. She gives you your Poke Beeper and phone card. They didn't use the Poke phone. That would have been an amazing hack job if they did that, but it's acceptable. So come down here. No stupid Meryl bothering us. Immediately run in here. Whoosh. Super speed. And we ask old Professor uh, him what, uh, what the dealio is. So you come over here. I'm going to pick Cyndaquil. Um... I didn't really see any other fire Pokemon I really would want to use or heard that other people wanted me to use. And I've seen a lot of other shiny gold ones use Totodile and Cyndaquil. And to tell you the truth, I might even use Cyndaquil because I might just like use a no starter Pokemon thing, so whatever. So skip through all this and uh, just kind of run down here. He'll give you a potion. You're going to need that too. And then here's the challenge. Now when you run over here, guess who you're going to meet? Carlos, or you don't know his name yet, but this is your new rival rival. He will be much harder to deal with than your old rival. He starts off with Slowpoke, and they're both level 5, so you're thinking nothing bad of it, but you don't want to just tackle. You want to leer. Leer until you can't leer no more. It's good that he's tackling, because he's going to start cursing. Um... Curse lowers speed but raises attack and defense, and he will start yawning too. You don't want that to happen, because yawn will put you to sleep on the opposite turn. My berry healed me up, and now I'm going to tackle while the window's open for it. Think I can get him off? Yes! Beat him. Uh, I had to re-record this because uh, he got them curse hacks going, and I didn't do it. So yeah, that was just me speeding through the video. I'm not usually going to do that again, but... Um, that was just a thing there. Um, tell me if you like the super speed through some of these, but uh, yeah, it's up to you guys what I do, but uh, just for the beginning, because we've all seen the beginning of this kind of stuff, I'm a super speed, so let's run through some grass, you know, get going here. Um, that was just a random Pokemon, nothing big. You're going to find Pidgey, Sentreats, just the normal stuff you would find in gold around here. Hoot Hoots, Sentreats, they're all very kind of common there. Here's the old man, you're going to want to talk to him. And he will show you around and give you a map for doing so. But we already know kind of all this. That's Route 30 up there. We kind of already know what this old man's going to be talking to us about. He goes into his house. You get your run and choose later. So I'm going to heal. Start. I'll be editing those out eventually. Just kind of getting everything done early as quick as possible around here. So run through here. And you can come in here. Oh, well, let's first let's do this. It's a fruit bearing tree and it's an orange berry. Orange berries are very useful. You're going to need those later. Save them. Um, so just, uh, come up here, this guy will give you a Orin Berry, and, uh, so that's two you have already, that is very nice. Now you can catch a Spinarak on this route, and, uh, a lot of people, I got a couple messages, people want me to use Spinarak, um, leave in the comments what you think I should use, and I will count them up, and that'll be my team. Um, this is a hard version, so I want to be competitive, but I don't want to make it too easy, so keep that in mind. So I get the Mysterious Egg from him, just like in gold. Professor Oak comes over, he gives you the Pokedex. We've all seen this before. So we're going to go back to Professor Elm when I'm done. Uh, he'll also heal you up, and then let's send you on your way. Then you'll get a Poker Beep Emergency, because the disaster, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what you want to do. And, uh, you know, just run down here, do all that kind of stuff have my potion still, I'm healed up, not much I need, so when you run up here, you're going to get your uh, battle with your rival, I believe uh, he'll be level 8, I'm level 7, I'm already going to start off doing smoke screen, he's going to do leer, 
nothing big. I'm going to smoke screen him though. I'm not going to speed through this battle and see which one you guys like the best. Now the thing was, if you use Cyndaquil, smoke screen is incredibly helpful for this battle. You hit him with like three smoke screens to kind of cut off his scratch potential and stuff like that. And um, then use a couple leers. Like I'm thinking two, three leers. And that should put you in a good way to beat him easy. Yes, Shiny Gold does make you use those kind of moves that you kind of ignored in previous things, and I think that's great. It makes you have to really think about what moves to keep and not just go, oh, that's not a non-attacking move. I'm going to delete it. So, um, I give him another Leer. Why not? He hasn't really touched me yet. Um, so, uh, now I'm going to tackle him. And, uh, that, see, that does a pretty good chunk of damage, and without Leer, that would have done less. So, just attack him. That's about a 4-3 KO hit. So, uh, not too bad. Oh, his scratch hit me, and I did a very big chunk of damage, but I won. And you get a lot of experience, go up to level 8, that's great. 8, that's great. Ah, uh, catchy. I do have this at 150 speed already, so not that big a deal. So, let's head on out, super speed mode this. Oh, I got held up by a tree, and that's a cut rope, and that's a person. Ah, uh, and it just can't get a break here, so let's go through here run through here, there's been a disaster, and boom. You heard the Pokemon was stolen here, Professor Elm, young male, you got caught. So, come up, talk to him, he's going to tell you to go, he tell you about the mystery egg, he wants you to go on your adventure, he's going to take the egg, and he's going to tell you to just go do your adventure. This guy will give you five Pokeballs to add to your arsenal, and uh, we're going to visit our mom first, because she can get pretty mad if you don't visit her. And then uh, she tells you your Pokemon's cute, and uh, she gives you the amulet coin, which is and running shoes, which are incredibly useful. So, first, oops, give the amulet coin to whoever you're starting with. You're going to need money, and uh, yeah, you have your running shoes, so you can uh, run like so. Do, 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 do. This guy's how he does it. So, uh, let's get... Okay, yeah, that was just a couple of random Pokemon. Nothing you need to worry about. Um, can't wait to buy some repels. Um, so yeah, just get going here. You, there's no reason to go up there. Um, uh, there's a little glitchy, I think. Uh, but nothing big though. Let's super speed. I don't want to center it, so I'm not even gonna try with that. So let's go up here and heal. Super speed heal. Probably cut these out for you guys if you'd like them to. I can super speed it, so I don't think it's that big a deal. But I'll probably will cut them. So let's go in here. It's just me buying some uh, potions because you can't buy repels yet, sadly. So then we're just going to run up here. And now you can go this way and battle some trainers. But real quick, I'm going to be looking for one of my next team members. So hold on real quick. Um, I kind of decided not to use a Spinarak. I was going to, but uh, I got a request for a different Pokemon that shares a type with Spinarak. And I don't want to get over type loaded. So instead, let's press on. First trainer. Oh, super speed it. But let's fight him. He's got a level 9 Rattata. That's pretty some serious business. And Rattatas in this game are a pain. I don't know if you know this. And the fact that they lower your defense is like crazy. He's going to one shot me if I'm not careful. Yeah, that was close. So, uh. Got the level 9, though. That's pretty good. Let's run down here and heal. Um. Fast heal. Woo! But yeah, leave me comments on what Pokemon to use. I have no problem using those Pokemon, tallying it up. Especially, give me some weird suggestions. Pokemon maybe people don't use a whole lot. As long as I can be competitive with it, I don't care. Okay, so come up here, challenge this guy. He's got a Pidgey and a Rata. Both can be a pain in the butt because that Pidgey will sand... Ooh, that was so lucky so I didn't get sand attack hacked. I hate sand attack. And I've got another critical hit, Cyndaquil showing his dominance right now, boom, take it. So, that should teach him to not mess with the master. She doesn't do that, she just tells you about looking him in the eyes. Not very useful, and then we get our first bug catcher. Our first of many bug catchers. And bug catchers, you know, got work, I don't even know why I did that, and just force a habit, I suppose. But string shot, tackle, those sort of things, these things can actually kill you if you're not careful. Because they all stay within the same level range as you, and without Ember, I'm sitting here just kind of tackling them, and I hate doing that. Another critical hit, Cyndaquil, beast mode, right? So do that, and you beat Bugcatcher Dawn.
So I'm gonna go here real quick. Be right back. Okay, uh, I'm back, so I think I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you on my next video. Tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like, tell me what I can do, and uh, can't wait to see you guys. Peace.